to the 250s and the Super Sports 250s and 400s. This class is about 250cc road-based bikes and 400cc road-based four-strokes. So in other words, so long as it's a street bike which is available for sale over the counter, the race is run on road tyres, it's run on unleaded fuel, it's a newly introduced formula to Super Cup and it makes for very close racing indeed as the grid positions show. 40 riders then on the way down towards Redgate, the full race distance is 12 laps, that's 30 miles of the Donington GP circuit and we'll be looking for some of the old faithful names but number five there young Jason Vincent 19 years of age from Earl Shelton in Leicestershire hits the front with a bang from the word go so we've said it before Steve this racing is always so close are getting away in third place it's young Jason Vincent number five in fourth place it's the window fabricator from Stockport in Cheshire Steve Ives riding number one then it's Kevin Maudsley then it's Jim Moody and number 49, Paul Brown. So young Paul Brown is out again. He rode in the 250 race as in. Well, now I think what we're going to see is James Whittam, if he can hang on to the back of Steve Ives, tuck himself in. But up into third place now has gone Kevin Maudsley. And Kevin Maudsley was one of the riders who was just a little bit suspicious about the makeup of that 400cc Yamaha that is out front of this race to such an extent that the ACU that's the governing body of the motorcycle sport in the UK. The ACU stripped and measured Steve Ives' Yamaha after Snetterton just to make sure that it was a bog-standard road bike because that is what the formula demands. It was indeed perfectly standard. It was just very... Well, third place man Kevin Maudsley is some two and a half seconds off this leading duo now, but... He's looking for a better result here at Donington. He was motoring well at Snetterton, and then uh, had all sorts of problems. The, the engine blew, he went off, crashed the bike, so not a very happy man at all was Kevin Maudsley. But certainly third place will be good enough here for him. Jamie Whittam takes the fastest lap. Paul Brown, number 49, Paul Brown now up to fourth place. So that man that's uh, got an injured shoulder, he's going really well. Lying third in the championship to Paul Brown, so this youngster who is the protege of the former Grand Prix star, the man we shall be seeing in the seventh train of activity behind Paul Brown. It's Kevin Maudsley, Jim Moody, Jason Vincent, then it's McWilliams, then it's young Jeffries. They're all in there, and Paul Brown is leading the charge. Yeah, having recently switched from a Kawasaki to Suzuki, this is the first time I believe he's raced the 250 Suzuki here today, and it certainly seems to be suiting him pretty well because he's charged through that pack there we have number 49, Paul Brown, who has a, a suspected damaged collarbone. To such an extent that he didn't go out in the second practice session, the times that he used to get on the grid were the times he gained from the first time session. He fell halfway through the first time session, didn't make the second session, we didn't know if he'd make the line, but not only did he make the line, he's making third place at the moment. So that's a testimony to the stamina and the grit and determination of this 22-year-old from Humberside. Paul Brown then has got a lot of activity going on behind him and squeezing out and going past. That's Kevin Maudsley. So Maudsley has reclaimed third place. Kevin Maudsley then up to third. Well, I'm not sure whether Paul Brown uh, had a problem there with his shoulder or whether he missed a gear. I think he possibly went into the chicane there in third gear instead of second gear. As he turned on the power, it wasn't there because he was in the wrong gear. But a very easy mistake. And if it's a new machine that he's riding, that would be the, possibly the reason that he got it mixed up. Well, Maudsley on an RGV 250 Suzuki again. The Team Hayes bike is up into third place, having gone back past Paul Brown. So Brown then down into fourth. Maudsley from Blackpool in Lancashire. A bit disappointed for Paul Brown after he worked his way through to the front of that pack and now he's dropped back again. So with any kind of luck, uh, he'll be able to grab that third spot again. Laps then for Steve Ives to do, but Kevin Maudsley still there dragging out from Paul Brown. Maudsley is the man who won the 1991 Spring Cup Supersport 400 Series. So he won a championship very early in the year. He obviously has taken to this class like a duck to water. Just look at the little Suzuki juddering around there. And there's Jim Moody, number 15, the very distinctive livery of Jim Moody. Whittam has turned in a quick one. And he's doing his best now to get past that Yamaha Steve Ives. 
but Ives really a force to be reckoned with. Jim Moody is on another FZR 400 Yamaha. So there are at least two of these 400 CC four strokes in the top six. And Steve, it wasn't generally accepted that they'd be competitive. No, the uh, FZR 400 Yamaha has been extremely competitive on road circuits, especially in the Isle of Man TT last year. But I don't think anyone really expected it to be quite as competitive as it's turned out. And I think we'll be seeing a lot more 400 Yamahas in this form and racing in the future. Well, in motorcycle racing, and it's said to me many, many times, reliability doesn't even seem to be a feature. They just keep on going, whether they're two strokes, four strokes, or whatever. We see very few breakdowns, but as you see, there are one or two fellas step off them from time to time, but as far as the mechanics and the workings of the bike, everything seems to hold together very well. This is the battle for third, fourth. There's Paul Brown in fourth place. And fifth. Jim Moody is in fifth and pushing hard. So a very tough Scott. Jim Moody has got young Paul Brown, a rider with much less experience in front of him. And I suspect that Jim Moody might be able to relegate the youngster, bearing in mind, too, that he does have a painful shoulder. Yeah, and he is on the uh, what looks to be the faster machine at the moment. So there's a good chance that when we get round to the straight here, we'll see Moody make a, make a move. Well, Jim Moody sponsored by Howard Cross Motorcycles and a tumble there that will give you that number just as soon as we can the rider heavily in the gravel trap but he's okay the marshal helping him to his feet I'll give you the update on that fallen rider just as soon as I can it certainly wasn't one of our front runners it was Kevin Maudsley it was Kevin Maudsley the third place man Kevin Maudsley has dumped it in the gravel but as you can see he's on his feet he's upset about it because he was in a good place but Maudsley, OK, but that opens up the race now for further down the order. That means Brown, Moody, Vincent, but Williams all move up one. This, however, the battle for first and second. And, Steve, it's a pity we didn't see what happened there to Kevin Maudsley. Yeah, it is a shame what happened. I think it was as he was entering the corner, he was probably just trying to grab back some of this advantage that these two have. Four laps to go. He probably thought he needed to get a spurt on, but uh, it's ended in tears, unfortunately. Well, bad news from the Blackpool Flyer there. Nicknamed, incidentally, the Angry Gerbil. Well, I bet he's very angry at the moment with that one because he was on for 15 points and it's all come to nothing. He's going to have to wait now till Brands Hatch before he can nail his place onto the leaderboard. So nothing from Snetterton and nothing from Donington, very sadly, for Kevin Maudsley. But...